Hey, let's talk about polymorphism. Yay! So polymorphism is a big word, but it's actually not too complicated. Uh, for any of the Latin scholars out there, we can break it down. Poly meaning many, and then morph. You know, trying to talk about shape. Or, uh, so we're talking about how things in programming languages have many shapes or many forms. So we just talked about this inheritance tree and said everything in Java is an object. But some objects are vehicles. And all cars are vehicles and all buses are cars. So all buses are definitely objects are also definitely vehicles. And there's a reason that we do this besides just making it easy to kind of uh, put code in different places, not have to rewrite things and to, to keep our, our file short. The main reason is because we want our program to be polymorphic. What that means is to have some flexibility in how we store things, to be able to be more general when it's appropriate, and then also be able to get back to being more specific. So let's give you a specific example. Uh, I am going to start a uh, valet service. Uh, but my valet service doesn't service all vehicles. We do not service motorcycles. We do not service uh, boats. We just service cars. But there's a lot of cars that we can service. People drive up in SUVs. They drive up in trucks. They drive up in buses. They drive up in sedans. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different types of cars. Now let's say I wanted to keep track of all these cars in my parking garage. We're going to be really efficient and I want to know what spot every car is in. So I'm going to give myself a big array of parking spots because I only have so many spots. So let's call them parking spots. And this is going to be an array of something. Well, if I make it an array of buses, the only thing it can hold is buses. If I make it an array of sedans, the only thing it can hold is sedans. But if I make it an array of cars, car objects, then I can hold any type of car in there. So I could say this is equal to a new car array, and let's say I have 20 spots. So now I have the ability to keep track of 20 cars. I can put any type of car into my parking spot. So if I have a, well, because I'm lazy, let's do this, spots. So I can say spots before equals a new sedan. Oops. I could say spot seven. Spots seven equals a new. How about this? How about we go into truck and we have an F-150. That could be a specific type of truck. But the F-150 is a truck, which is a car. So I can have a new F-150 and put it in a parking spot. Now I can go through my array and for every car I could say park it. So for each car C in my spots, park it. C dot park. Now it doesn't matter that some of these are sedans and some of these are trucks because they're all cars and all cars can be parked. Now where I get into trouble is if I try to do some of the things down here. So let's say uh, trucks can open a hatch. And let's say sedans can pop a trunk. All right, but trucks don't have trunks and sedans don't have hatches. Well, now I'm in uh, trouble because if I try to say something like C dot open hatch, open hatch, I'm going to have a problem. That is not going to work because not all cars can open hatches, only trucks can. Now, when we get to that, when we get to issues where you say, hey, the valet really does need to open a hatch or open a trunk, although probably shouldn't be doing that. Uh, but if we needed to, we could say, well, everything here is an object and objects can tell me what type they are. So then if the type is a truck, open the hatch. If the type is a sedan, pop the trunk. But the, the main point is that if I want to hold lots of different types of stuff, it'd be nice to be able to keep it in one spot if they're similar. All the cars in my parking lot are similar, so I'm going to treat them all like cars, even though when it comes down to it, I have special ones in each spot. 
And that, in a nutshell, is polymorphism. Being able to say that you have a car, car, my car, that is a new Quingotti. Polymorphic. Bye now.